Welcome to GeoStrings, an app for the Palm Pre and Palm Pixie that lets you set location-based reminders. When you load the app, your list of active GeoStrings are displayed. These are the reminders you've set for yourself. So I have two tasks I currently need to accomplish around town, buying vitamins and picking up a Valentine's Day card. You can also view your tasks on a map to show where they're located in relation to your current position. Each of the red pushpins represents a location where you need to complete a task. You can tap on one of them to view its details. So at CVS Pharmacy, I need to buy vitamins. And at Hallmark Downtown, I need to pick up a Valentine's Day card. So let's add a new geostring. Let's say we need to pick up some batteries. If I want to, I can also add a node so I can list which batteries I need to pick up. And I'll be able to view that node directly from the alert pop-up that appears when I drive by any of the locations I saved to the geostring. So let's define some places where I could buy batteries. There are several different ways I can add a location. I can do a business or category search. And the results are sorted by the distance to your current location. So the ones at the top are going to be closest to where you are. Um, I can view the locations on a map to visually determine which locations I'd like to set. So maybe this one and this one. And now they've been added to my geostring. Let me go ahead and remove them. I can also do a search for a particular street address or intersection. I can also tap on a map and save locations in that uh, manner. And I can do as many as I'd like on here. And if I think that this is in the wrong position, I can go ahead and drag this and move it to anywhere I'd like. I can also save my current position. I'll, I'll call that home and save it as a favorite because I'm going to be doing a lot of tasks at home, probably. And now all four positions have been saved. Let me go ahead and remove that. Oh, there you go. You can also pull up your contact list by tapping this button and save one of your contacts as a location to your geostream. And you can pull up your favorites. So these are going to be locations that you uh, frequent uh, quite often and that you're going to be doing a lot of tasks at so you can quickly access them. You can also pull up your history which is saved automatically by geostrings and it's all the locations that you've ever visited. So you can scroll through this list or you can type either um, the location name, you can type the um, street name, you can type in the city name and find it very quickly. You can also pull up your location groups, which are logical groupings of locations based upon function. So I have a group called Battery Stores, which contain all the locations that I like to buy batteries at. So with one tap, all three locations have been added to my geostring. And this is going to be a very um, quick and efficient way to add locations to a geostring. You can also define a target radius. So right now it's two miles, but I can set it to anything I'd like. And when I get within one mile of any of these three locations, I'm going to get um, an alert pop-up and a notification sound. The alert sound can be set to any ringtone or music file stored on your device by going to the preferences screen, which is located in the app menu. And the alert pop-up will display all the tasks which are currently in alert at your current location. From the pop-up, you can snooze the alert for a specific amount of time, which is also customizable on the preferences screen. And you can also defer the pop-up until the next time you arrive at the location. Or you can deactivate the alert by swiping the task off the screen. So now that I'm done with this geostream, let me save it. And you'll see that it's now on the active geostream list. And let me close the app. I'll try to close the app. Oh, <laughs> let me really try to close the app this time. There you go. So now with the app closed, it's still going to be monitoring my position, and when I drive by any of those locations, I'm going to get an alert pop-up and a notification sound that let it, that's going to let me know that I'm near one of my tasks. Um, so let me open up GeoStrings again. Hopefully it'll be easier to open than close. And let me open up the, the Valentine's Day card GeoString, and let me talk about some of the more advanced customization options. So we talked about 
location, and we talked about target radius. So let's do some time date filtering. So for this particular task, which is buying a Valentine's Day card, I set a start date of February 7th, 2011. And the reason why is that every time I drive by one of those locations for the, la for the next 10 months, until February, because um, right now it's April of 2010, I don't want to be reminded until that week, because buying a Valentine's Day card right now is just silly, buying it this uh, early. But I definitely want to be reminded that week so that I don't forget. Um, and I want to set an expiration date. And what that's going to do, which is Valentine's Day, um, is basically if I hit that date without reaching any of my locations, I'm going to get a reminder pop-up even without getting near one of my locations. And so if I hit Valentine's Day and I, and I still haven't bought a card, Geostrings is going to give me one extra nudge and remind me. So um, one, of the, one of Geostrings' main benefits is keep you out of trouble with your significant other by remembering all the things that you that they ask you to do and all the things that you should be doing like bu buying Valentine's Day cards. So geostrings can sometimes be a real lifesaver. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, specify a start and end time window. So if there's a particular task that you only want to do between 6 a.m. and 11 a.m., you could do that um, if you'd like. You can also set um, day of the week alerting. So you'll notice that I have Wednesday and, and Friday unchecked. So that means that on Wednesdays and Fridays, I'm not going to get alerted for this. So if, I'm, if I know that I'm driving around town for work on Wednesdays and Fridays and I'm going to be really busy and I don't want to be bothered by an alert and that I'm not going to be able to have time to stop by, um, then I want to do um, day, day of the week alerting. But by default, all days of the week will be checked. You can also save a geostring as a favorite. And let me go ahead and save this, and let me show you the favorites. And the reason why you'd want to do that is if there's a set of tasks that you're going to be doing on a recurring basis, it's, it's going to be very easy for you to come to the favorites, pull it up, reactivate it if it was already deactivated, save it, and now it's back on, back on your active geostrings list, and you didn't have to bother with adding locations or setting any kind of parameters. It's all there for you saved. You can also go to your history which is automatically saved, and it's a list of all the tasks that you've ever completed using Geostrings. So you can start typing just as you did on the location um, list. You can type um, a task name, or you can type uh, a location name, and it'll find it. Um, let me pull up the preferences screen to talk about some of the other customization options. You can change your units of distance from miles to kilometers. You can change your default uh, target radius. Um, which uh, gets set anytime you add a new geostring to anything you'd like. Um, you could change uh, the snooze pop-up um, or the alert, uh, the snooze times that are, appear on the alert pop-ups. So there's going to be six preset buttons that, that you can choose from, and you can set them to anything you'd like. So one minute, three minutes, five minutes, anything you'd like. You can also set, um, optionally, a repeating audible alarm interval. So by default, it's going to be set to none, which means that it, when you get to one of your target locations, it's going to alert one time with an audible alert. But if, you, if, if you're going to be frequently in a place where you can't hear well, or if you leave your phone on vibrate all the time, you might want to set a repeating alert so that every 10 seconds um, or every 5 seconds, it'll, it'll constantly alert, and you'll, and you'll definitely notice the alert. Um, speaking of alerts, you can either use the default um, sound setting or you can use a custom setting, which is any of your ringtones or any of your MP3 files. Also, you can change the look of Geostrings itself. So if you don't like this particular background, you can change the wallpaper image to anything you'd like. Um, let's choose rocks. So now this is what Geostrings looks like. and. I think this is a little bit too transparent, so I'd like to have this a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to change that. And maybe I don't like white. Maybe I like maybe green. And now this is what Geostrings looks like. Actually, that's kind of ugly, but you get the point, though. You can change Geostrings to, to look any way you'd like. Um, maybe green on rocks is not the best look, but you get the idea. Um, another thing is every time um, you're on a screen and you're wondering what a particular button does, you can tap on the question mark icon, and a series of help balloons appears on all the different hotspots on a particular screen. 
So if you wanted to know what this plus icon does, you could find out that it, it adds a new geostring. So it's a nice way for you to get um, some assistance when you're on a particular screen that you haven't used, um, and um, you can get some help for that. So hopefully this gave you a pretty well-rounded overview of the GeoStrings app. If you'd like to learn more, you can view the rest of my vi uh, videos on my YouTube channel, or you can email me with any questions you may have, or you could try the app out yourself by downloading the free trial version available in the app catalog.